In this video, we'll be thinking about uh, one of the specific immune response, which is called cell-mediated immunity. We've got the other one, which is called humoral immunity, and these two different immune responses just um, involve different types of lymphocytes. Simply put, cell-mediated immunity is where T lymphocytes respond to altered cells, hence the word cell-mediated. So altered cells include antigen-presenting cell, for example, macrophages after they've digested the pathogen. We've got cancerous cells as well, meaning they present slightly different proteins on the cell surface, and viruses in that case as well. And what they do is basically the T cells will make more of themselves and differentiate them into different types of T cells to directly destroy these altered cells. That's the process uh, in a nutshell. And now we'll go into a little bit more detail there. So if we take a step back to when the body first encountered the pathogen, right, so we've got our normal macrophage here, encounters the pathogen, recognizes it as foreign, engulfs it, processes it, and it becomes an antigen presenting cell. And the way they do this is by having the MHC bind with the antigen and present it onto the surface. Let's just say this bit is the antigen MHC complex. So in the first official step of cell-mediated immunity is that there will be a T helper cell coming along. On the cell surface, they will have a CD4 receptor. It recognizes the this complex here. Now I draw it a bit further, but imagine that they're closer together. Very poor drawing of it, but you sort of get the idea. After that, it will then release interleukins to alert the other cells of the attack. It will then do various things. It will clone itself, so it can either become T memory cells, so that they memorize the uh, what the antigen looks like. They can also make more T killer cells, which then actually goes off to hunt down these pathogens and kill them. And also, it can alert and stimulate the B cells to divide, to make plasma cells, to make antibodies, or it can increase the phagocytosis effect. So, for example, they can go and alert more macrophages to go and become more antigen-presenting cells to tell more of the T helper cells about this attack. That, in a nutshell, is how this works. Quick recap, in the very beginning, we've got a macrophage come floating along, it encounters a pathogen, and engulfs it, digests it, and presents it onto the cell surface with the MHC, becoming an antigen-presenting cell. And the first official step in the cell-mediated immunity is a T helper cell comes along and it's got a CD4 receptor, and it encounters the APC, binds the antigen MHC complex, and recognizes this uh, as an APC. So it then it becomes activated, knowing that we are under attack, and release interleukins to tell the other T cells to proliferate. So it then, then proliferate, meaning divide, and differentiate into T memory cells to memorize what antigen it was, T killer cells to actually kill those pathogens and altered cells. It can also signal the B cells to proliferate um, to prepare for humoral response and also tell the macrophages to do more phagocytosis to kill the pathogens. And that is cell-mediated immunity.